Hi, I'm Drew Gentry, a paleontologist at McWayne Science Center. Alabama is home to a diverse array of ecosystems, from forests to swamps to flood plains and sandy beaches. But millions of years ago, things looked a lot different than they do today. During the last half of the Cretaceous period, between 125 and 65 million years ago, our planet was much hotter and the polar ice caps had completely melted. The melting ice caps caused sea levels to rise so much that most of the United States, including southern Alabama, was at the bottom of a shallow inland sea called the Western Interior Seaway. Evidence of this ancient ocean can be found scattered across the fields and forests of southern Alabama in the form of fossils. The waters of Cretaceous Alabama were filled with animals you'd expect to find in the ocean today, like sea turtles, crabs, sharks, and fish. But the ocean animals of the Cretaceous weren't anything like their modern relatives. This is the giant sea turtle, Protostega gigas. It's a sea turtle that grew to be more than 10 feet long and weighed well over a ton. Even the fish of the Cretaceous were monsters. This is Xyphactinus, a huge carnivorous fish that prowled the waters of the Western Interior Seaway. The most common fossils found in the Cretaceous of Southern Alabama are shark teeth. Some of these sharks were very small, but others were truly enormous. Sharks may have been a common predator in the Cretaceous Ocean of Southern Alabama, but they were far from being the apex predators. That honor went to mosasaurs, tremendous marine reptiles that had powerful jaws filled with dozens of massive bone-crushing teeth. Mosasaurs had hinged jaws, which allowed them to swallow most prey whole. The largest mosasaur, Mosasaurus maximus, could reach lengths of over 50 feet, making it roughly the size of a modern humpback whale. Dinosaurs may have ruled the land during the Cretaceous, but mosasaurs were definitely the rulers of the sea. Come check out all of the amazing creatures of Alabama's ancient ocean at the Alabama Sea Monsters exhibit at McWayne Science Center.